Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Time for your tip of the day today. Now this message, although I'm recording it in, in late July, I expect this might be one you're gonna wanna come back and listen to because it really applies to all seasons. And, and that's the message today. Let's talk about the seasonality of real estate. We're not talking about you know the four seasons. We're not talking about the four quarters. I believe we're at the peak of the summer season. It's late July. People are spending time with their family doing that last minute vacation before school starts, depending on your area of the country or world, in two to four weeks. So the season I'm talking about right now, and again, this works anytime, but the season today is August, September, and October. What I want you all to do is work harder than you've ever worked before for this season. Now you can't work harder than you've ever worked before for every season, you'll burn out. But you can do it for one season. August, September, October. If your thing is prospecting, I want you to telemarket prospect like you've never done before. I want you to do more open houses than you've ever done before. I want you to implement the postcarding campaign that I've talked about um, two or three uh, tips ago. I want you to door knock every neighbor, put a flyer on that door, inviting the neighbors to those open houses. I want you to take a skill set that you need work on and I'd, I'd wager that many of you watching or listening to this are buyer's agents. I want you to step off the ledge into a listing capacity. When you win the listings, you win the market. Would you rather show seven houses to a buyer this Saturday? Or would you rather have seven buyer's agents show your listing this Saturday? You can capitalize on some time. Now don't tell me you don't have time because August, September, October, the market's gonna slow down. You're gonna be less busy. You need to backfill that extra time you have with these money-making opportunities. So get after it, go after listings. I know that can be scary for some of you. Um, I, I tell you, I did this, my season started in 2008 and I didn't let up until about 2010 and, and I did burn out admittedly. But I built my listing business to about 60 listings at its peak, six zero listings at one time. When you have that kind of massive action, that's gonna force you to do massive things like hiring an assistant, like bringing on a buyer's agent. In my case, I went from a team of two or three to a team of seven during that time period. So working hard creates some wonderful, amazing things that are gonna take you to the next level. That's what you need to be focusing on. Again, take that extra time, August, September, October, do something different with that time void you're going to have. And I promise you, November, December, you're gonna have more business than you can handle. It's gonna take you right into next year, into next year's spring selling season, which is predicted to be even better than it is right now, by the way. So take that and run with it, my friends, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.